All right, everybody, here we go. We're going to make a new song. Uh, the instructions are to make something in unary, binary, and ternary. So that means we need a single section of music. We need something with two segments of eight measures, which is called binary. And we need something with three segments, A, B, and A. So I'm going to hit this plus button <clears throat> in the top right corner. <clears throat> I'm going to scroll over until I hit this audio recorder. I'm going to click on more sounds and just pick any old drum set. It doesn't matter because I'm not going to use that anyway. Top left corner, I'm going to hit this uh, button up here to get rid of that. Now, top right corner, I'm going to hit the loops button, which opens up some loops. I'm going to choose a genre, country. Okay, so now it's sorted by country. I've just got a small number of sounds that I can use. And I'm just going to listen to these. pick this one because I liked it. So that's my drum sound. Go back to loops. I can find maybe some sort of uh, bass line or something else. That's a good bass line, so that'll go in there. Kind of a lower sound anyway. That'll work. Cheerful mandolin, that sounds like maybe a melody. Actually, that'll be my harmony. So it's drums, bass, harmony, then a melody. Let's see what that sounds like. That's going to get pretty boring after a little bit, uh, but that qualifies, okay? I would make some adjustments, but that's all you need to do for now to make the A section, okay? Then what I would do is screen record this, press play. Um, all you got to do is pull down the menu here and hit this red blinking button. Make sure your sound is on, uh, the microphone is on, and play through that. That's making an A section. Very simple, and I think we've already done it. Now they've got this plus button over here on the right side, uh, right next to your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight measures, and you can actually add a B section, and then you just click out of it. I was a little confused by that, but you just tap out of it, and now here's the B section. So I would go back in, and I would find a different drum beat, but the same style, same genre, same loop package, and then I might do my front porch. I might do that for my bass sound. Now this might end up being too much stuff, but I'm going to start with it anyway, so that I have... So at least I have two different sections. Now, I think if I scroll over, yeah, it actually had a little A there and a B there, you can see. So now I've got a, a binary piece of music. It looks like it's only going to let me put one section on the screen anyway. So it's kind of telling me how to, uh, how to do this, which is good. Okay? Now I would screen record that. I would press play. Go all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> submit that to the project. Now for the third project, ternary, all we need is another A section. Okay, so we could hit A there and duplicate. And we'll see what happens there. I don't know if it will let me zoom out, but I can simply look, brush train set, drum set 11, 27, and then it goes back to 11. So we literally have an A section 
a B section and an A section. I think they're calling it C. <clears throat> Let's see if we can edit that. Oh, I see. Cool. There's some different settings that you can do. Duplicate. Right. I think I can edit that too. Get rid of section D. What if I can duplicate that? It's still going to call it section C, even though it's another section A. So uh, it's not perfectly labeled, but that's the gist of it. Screen record that, and you've got an ABA format called ternary, and submit that. That's your three projects. One section, two sections, and three sections. On the third one, it's just a copy of A, like we've been talking about. And that's all you got to do today.